Okay guys, Private Jack here, part 16 in my series on how to create a butterfly in Blender and get it into Source Filmmaker. We've had a long journey, uh, 15 sessions, uh, this being the 16th, and now we're ready to find out whether or not this thing actually works in Source Filmmaker. So let's get on with it. Open up Source Filmmaker. Create a session, load a map. We're just going to load up stage. Create an animation set for a new model. And let's find our butterflies. So here's Butterfly 2. This is the one that we created. It sits above the floor the way it's supposed to. And here's the Butterfly Helm. Okay, it sits above the floor. Skins. This one has skins, which work. This one doesn't. It's only got the one skin. This one has the flap sequence. This one has the flap sequence and the antenna sequence. So let's get them into Source Filmmaker and have a look at them. So open this one, get above the floor, body, grab a hold of the root transform, get the position, go into edit mode, and we're in the motion editor default. Now we're just gonna pull this one off to the side a little bit. Let's grab the other one, new model, Butterfly 2, open that one up, put it down on the stage, pull it off to the side a little bit, grab both of them, pull them up off the stage so that they're in view, and let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so for the Butterfly 2, the only thing really special about this guy is he has the flapping sequence. So let's do an import sequence. Change it from idle to flap. And open that sequence. Now, uh, this guy may pop back down on the floor. Let's have a look. Oh, didn't. Cool, like that. Play it. And away he goes, flapping away. This guy's a little bit more special. This guy has different skins, so let's have a look. Set skin, zero, one. There's the red. There's the blue. Things are working good there. This guy also has body groups. So he's got the head. We can't turn the head on or off. The body, same thing, antenna, we get down here to hats, and now we've got three different options. We've got none, which is what he's wearing now. We've got his helmet. There's his helmet, and he has a hat. And there's his hat. Do they work? Well, let's grab a hold of the bip head because that's what I actually uh, put them on and things work fine let's have a look at the helmet grab the head again rotate the head And everything is hunky-dory. Okay, so that's got our butterflies in. This guy has two animations. 
So let's import them. Import sequence. There's the idle. Here's the flap. Let's see what happens when we add the flap. There he goes. And let's add the antenna flipping back and forth at the same time. So import sequence antenna open and away it goes. So there you have it. Now, if I wanted these things to work at the same time, the secret to that is actually selecting the bones that are being affected by the actual animation. So the antenna is just working on that. The flap animation is working on the wings, so I would just select the wings, right click, import sequence, and the flap sequence. And there we go. We've got both animations working at the same time. So, long journey. We've got our butterflies flapping in the breeze and they're in Source Filmmaker and working properly. Any questions? Down in the tab or down in the comments section. I'll try and answer anything I can. And with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out. <laughs>